Mahamitraya Namaha Om Ravaye Namaha Hello, my name is Faye. Welcome to today's Morning Flow Yoga class. We are going to start in child pose, so make your way down to the floor. I'm hoping that you are going to feel good after today's practice and ready to face the day ahead. So come on down, meet me on the ground and stretch your arms out ahead of you. Resting the forehead on the ground if that works for you. Remember, you can bring your fists onto your forehead. You can also put some padding underneath the front of your feet and between your bottom and your heels. Let's start with a few deep breaths though, in through the nose, out through the mouth, sigh the breath away. Feel yourself sinking deeper down into the ground. And then just extend your arms a little bit further forwards to elongate the spine. And use the next exhale to let go of anything you're gripping or holding on to. Let gravity do its thing, help you to open up. And notice what this child pose does for you. Okay, very slowly deepen the breath again. You can lift the forehead a moment and bring the knees a little bit narrower as we're going to flow now into an earth salutation variation. So take an out breath in this child pose. Inhale, come up to a high kneeling position, stretch your arms up to the sky, nice and tall. If you're happy to, you can add a back bend. And then we bow to the earth again, surrender down. Then shift the hands under the shoulders, bottom in the air, head up, a nice big in breath as you come to your cow pose. We're rounding now into our cats, chin to chest, squeezing into the hands, pushing them down into the earth. We return to cow pose, breath in. But this time we're going to add a tucking under of the toes and a down dog. If you prefer another cat, that's fine. Back to your cow, nice front body stretch. And returning to child pose, exhale. So inhale, high kneeling. Exhale, bow to the earth. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. Back to cow pose. Tuck your toes under, come to downward facing dog. Again, we have our cow pose and then we return to child. So that's it. Let's take another round. Inhale, lift and rise. Exhale, bow to the earth. Inhale, stretching out the front body. Exhale, lovely angry cat. Back to cow. Tucking toes, downward facing dog. Back to cow pose and back to child. So just keep that moving and flowing, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, tuck toes, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Okay, two more rounds in your own time. Slowly as the breath is flowing. And then one final round, reaching high, bowing to the earth, into your cow. And your cat. Cow down dog. Back to cow and finish in your child pose. Notice how that sequence has made you feel. Returning to the earth. And 
Okay, when you're ready, back to your hands and knees. We are bringing the knees together. Let's stretch the right leg out behind us. If you feel balanced, we lengthen the left arm as well into our cat balance. So feel free to stay here, or you can always put your hand down. We add a little element of difficulty now by raising the left arm and the right leg a little bit higher. Return to balance, then we shift the left hand and the arm left and the right leg and foot slightly right. Back to balance, then we add a crunch, elbow to knee, back to balance. And then we lift, we balance, we take the foot and the arm wider. We balance and we crunch. Lovely. So we're going to lift, take it out to the side, crunch, and we take one more round. Lift, out to the side, crunch, balance, and we're back to the start. Well done. Couple of nice deep breaths in here. And then we take the other side, the left leg is long. So inwardly rotate that leg so the big toe points down. When you're ready, stretch the right arm forwards. Let's lift. Take the arm and leg out to the side. Then we crunch, balance, lift, balance, out to the side, balance and crunch. Lift, out to the side and crunch. And one more, lift, out to the side and crunch. And then once you're back to your all fours position, come and bring your right foot through between your hands. Don't forget you can pop something on your knee if it is uncomfortable. But I want you to sink your hips nice and low. Nice deep breaths in here. Bring that prana in this morning. Okay, we'll add a twist now. Left hand on the ground. We sweep the right arm up to the sky. Don't forget if the shoulder doesn't enjoy that, you can bring the hand to the waist. I want you to continually roll the chest to the right side. And you can draw this right knee towards you. So make sure that right foot is nice and flat. Well done. As you turn face the ground, bring the hands to the knee. Take your arms now into cactus arms. Squeeze your elbows back. Maybe a little lift of the chin, but keep the back of the neck nice and straight. And feel the breath flowing in. Energize the body if you need more oxygen. Breathe through your mouth. Well done, let's change sides. Sweep the right leg back and the left foot forwards. Sink nice and low in the hips. Push your hips deeper down towards the floor. We're going to add a twist. This side right hand is grounded. Sweep the left arm up to the sky. Remember, you can bring the hand into the waist. Palm faces the left side, so the thumb should be forwards, pointing towards the front edge of your mat. Couple more breaths here, squeeze that knee in towards the belly. Let's get the heat flowing, moving around the body, well done. And then as you face the floor, walk your hands to the knees, take your arms up, a little bend of the elbows, cactus arms. Feel beautifully open across the front body, feel as though you're squeezing your shoulder blades together. Let's fill the front body with some energy today. Feel nice and confident as you open into the heart center, Anahata Chakra. Super, bring your hands to the ground, taking a downward facing dog. And then we're gonna walk our feet to meet our hands, coming into a soft forward fold. So just bend the knees and hang nice and heavy. The arms just nice and floppy. Let's take a few deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, sigh the breath away. When you're ready, roll yourself up to stand and roll your shoulders back. Okay, well done. We're gonna take now a combination between Invincible Warrior and an aeroplane. So a little bit of balance, but this is quite warming. We start at the front edge of the mat, we keep the right foot forwards and we're going to start to stride back with the left foot. So get nice and long, lift that back left heel and turn the hips forwards to face the front edge of the mat. You can have your arms long beside you for balance, 
You can have them on your hips or you can raise your arms up into the air. Let's dip the back knee down towards the ground, push into the heel to straighten the leg, but then a little bend and bounce of that back leg as we soar through the air into our aeroplane pose. Back to Invincible Warrior, nice big stride back, squeeze the heel away, but then dip the back knee, push the heel away, and spring up to your aeroplane again. Just focus on one point ahead of you that doesn't move. Nice deep breaths here. Again, we're returning to Invincible Warrior. Bend and dip the back knee. Again, use the power in that back leg and the right leg and your core to spring you up into your aeroplane. Just finding your centre of gravity and we spring back to Invincible Warrior. And we have one more aeroplane. So let's spring that left leg up. Feel nice and open across the front body and the chest. And this time we're just going to pop the left foot to meet the right. Give it a shake out and notice how that made your whole core and your hips feel. All right, the other side. So the right leg is coming back. The left foot is forwards. Nice big stride. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Raise your arms up. Okay, nice deep breaths here. And then a bend with the back knee. Squeeze the heel away. Spring the foot up and we're balancing. Hopefully not too much turbulence with your aeroplanes. Let's take the leg back, raise up to Invincible Warrior. Bend the back knee and when you're ready, spring forwards, tap the toe if you need to. One side is likely to be more balanced than the other. Okay, back to Invincible Warrior. Dip the knee, push the heel away, and fly. Well done. We have one more to go. Back to Invincible Warrior. Dip the knee. Last aeroplane. Nice deep breaths here. Well done. Return to stand. Shake it out. Do you have water whenever you need it? So let's return to the front edge of the mat. Okay, let's take a little flow into half Surya Namaskara A. So exhale your arms down beside you. A lovely big breath in, stretch to the sky and add a back bend. Exhale, forward fold, drop the head. Inhale, look up, lengthen your spine. Drop the head again. A little bend to the knees, draw the navel in. Sweep your arms up high, stand tall and bring your hands back to the heart centre. Again, inhale, exhale, arms down beside you. Stretch nice and tall, maybe a back bend. Exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Fold again. Inhale, reach for the sky. Hands to the heart centre. Lovely. One more, but when we're down, we'll stay there. Exhale, arms down beside you. Stretch tall, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up. And now we're going to fold and hold. So if you're happy to, take your pistol fingers and feed them down through the big and second toes. Pads of the index fingers and the middle fingers meet the pads of the thumbs. We bring our weight into the toes. Remember, you can keep the knees bent, but we lengthen the arms, we're looking up. And then we bend the others out to the side as we fold ourselves in half. And make sure you're just dropping the hair so it's nice and loose. Feel this whole back body lengthening out. Well done. Look up, lengthen your spine. Just bring your hands to the ground. Walk your feet nice and wide. Turn the toes out and come to Malasana, a nice squat, where you're just gonna bring the elbows in towards the knees and pause here with the hands at the heart center. So let's stretch our arms out ahead of us. We're aiming the head between the arms, so just release the head down a little bit. Sigh the breath away. And then 
Return to Malasana, hands to the heart center. Nice straight spine if you can. And then you can bring the hands behind you, sit down onto your bottom and find your boat variation. So we're going to squeeze the knees together. Right, you might need to part the knees a little initially so that you can pull against them and feel that spine nice and long. And then stretch your arms out ahead of you, tuck your chin in and roll yourself down halfway between where you were and the floor. And then squeeze your knees together and straighten your right leg, getting the thighs exactly at the same height as we take our half boat pose. So nice deep breaths here. Two more breaths if you can. And then we'll change sides so the right foot's grounded, we stretch and lift the left leg. The left leg lifting as high as the right thigh, so thighs are level. Fantastic for the core, so you should be feeling your back and your abs working. Super, pop both feet on the ground, continue your way slowly to the floor. You can move the feet away as you get down and once you're down. Give yourself a hug, well done. And just make sure you are on your mat. And then we're gonna keep the feet off the ground, knees above the hips, hands behind the hips. Sorry, hands behind the head. And then we're gonna lift our head and shoulders. We're gonna twist the elbow, right elbow to the left knee, lower ourselves down and the knees are gonna come in. So lift and twist the other way. Once you're down, curl the knees in. Lift, twist, ease down, curl the knees in. Lift and twist, lower down and curl the knees in. Let's take six more of those. Upper body, once it's down, lower body comes in. Okay, you might have one or two to go. Well done, give yourself a hug. And then we finish with a happy baby. So turn the soles of the feet to face the sky, take the outside of your feet. And we are encouraging the knees down beside the ribs. Once you're here, maybe a little swaying left and right, massaging into the mid and upper back. Maybe even the shoulders. Give me a smile, notice how you feel. Then you can release, shake it out, a free posture, whatever you need, and come and meet me lying on the ground as we finish, as we take a moment of stillness. Notice how you feel. Sigh the breath away. Feel free just to turn the head to release the neck. You may like a stretch just to check you're aligned. And then come and settle yourself into Shavasana. Just take a few deep breaths now in through the nose, out through the mouth, sighing the breath away. Feeling the body surrendering downwards. And give yourself permission to rest for a moment.
So do please rest for as long as you need to. But if you are ready to move, we'll start to bring movement to the feet and toes, fingers, hands. Maybe a turn of the head, a stretch, a wiggle of your jaw, a yawn. Maybe a hug in of your knees. When you're ready, make your way to one side, resting hands under the head. Take a moment on your side. Notice how you feel. And there's no rush, but when you're ready, come and meet me in a comfortable seated position. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you very soon. Take care till then. Namaste. Om Mitraya Namaha Om Ravaye Namaha